Hi, welcome to Ray of Light Farm. It's a place where humans and animals meet and make a better connection with life through each other. My name is Katie, and this is my daughter, Kristen. Kristen is 20 years old, and she's been involved with the farm since she was six years old. Um, in my mind, it's changed her life. She has um, a degenerative disorder, which um, has prevented her from doing many, many things, but thanks to this barn, she can ride a horse all these years later and um, this place probably makes her happier than any other place and the people here are phenomenal i can't say enough about everyone at this barn and the way kristen is treated and the way that the animals seem to know her you're looking at olivia the uh, dark colored appaloosa that's in the middle of the ring right now She's five years old and has taken all of her steps from kindergarten right through, I think she's in second or third grade now with her riding skills. And her owner, Jane. Jane was as green as Olivia when they first got here. And a step at a time, they grew up together and now are having a great time, both for sport and for just general caring for each other. Some of the awesome things about volunteering are getting to work with all of the different animals, such as the goats, we have guinea pigs, we have rabbits, we have turtles, well, tortoises. And then, of course, we have a lot of horses. This is Petey. He is a Premarin Rescue. He's deaf. He's about five years old now. And he's, he's fun to be around. <laughs> I just started working with him because I'm going to start sponsoring him. So that means I can continue working with him. And he's, he's pretty cool. I do not know how I came to be in this place, but every day I see new faces wandering in my backyard. Infants to elderly, they come to breathe, visit with the animals and walk through the woods, looking for pieces of life that they do not find elsewhere. Some days a few come, some days a few hundred. I cannot remember a day when someone new did not stop to visit. There is something about the farm, the land, that invites people in. Some return, some return often. Some don't want to go home. I watch them as they smile, feeling soft fur or feathers brushing their fingertips, or a wet tongue surprising the back of their hand as they caress the assortment of life. The people ask what the animals are thinking. I, think it would be. I tell them that I don't really know, but I am quite sure that they feel more than they think and survive just fine that way. There are several who come that do not know words in the way that most of us do, but they quickly communicate with the animals and become empowered on their own level. There are some who come that cannot walk, but on a horse's back, they find new freedom as the legs of the horse do the work that their own legs cannot do. There are some who live in fear in their homes and find peace in the responsive, unconditional love offered by a 1,200 pound animal. The bereaved find solace, the lonely find company, the fearful find courage, the poor find that in this place, joy is free. We hope you enjoyed your brief tour on the video and hopefully you can come visit in person someday. We'd be glad to have you in any day but Wednesday. That's our farrier and vet day. But other days we're open from 10 until three. Come on in.